Alright, so I was really excited for Mary and the Witch's Flower, and I'm going to give a little backstory on this because I am a big fan of Studio Ghibli. Studio Ghibli and almost every single film that they've made I love or like. I think there's maybe like one or two which I thought were okay, but never one that was terrible, never one that was bad. And Studio Ghibli has since gone under, and uh, they have, I don't know if they're going to come back as a company or make any more films. Um, I think it's because of Hayao Miyazaki and how he retired, but he's retired like a lot of times, so maybe he'll come back doing this, but Studio Ghibli's gone. And then we get this movie called Mary and the Witch's Flower, which looked very much in the vein like a Studio Ghibli film in the way it's animated, in the way the characters acted in the trailer, in the way that it looked. And I thought that going into it, like I was really excited because it looked a lot like it. And when the movie started, they've got a company logo for the company that made this movie called Studio Panak. And Studio Panak has a logo like Studio Ghibli, where it's got a character to the side, like a fully a full head of a character on the side with the name. And it looks just like Studio Ghibli. And I thought that that was really funny that they're, like, they're trying to imitate Studio Ghibli, and I think that it really worked out really well because I don't know if they've done any other movies before this but this movie was fantastic this like the I'm gonna say that the story is very much it's a very simple story it's a very simple premise it's a very simple movie and I feel like a lot of people are gonna shit on it because oh it's very simple it's a very simple story with simple characters and, and a simple resolution and to me, I'd say that I don't care. I thought that I love this movie because of the characters, because of the story, even though it was a similar story to something else, and the score. And I thought that those three things, to me, made it a fantastic watch, a f just a wonderful time, a wonderful movie. And I watched it also with Japanese sub uh, Japanese dubbed with English subtitles. Um, so I didn't see the English version. I heard that they've got like Jim Broadman and uh, Kate Winslet in it in the English version, but I didn't see that. I only saw the Japanese one with English dub or English subs. So watching this m movie, like I thought, like I said, it's a very simple movie, but to me, it made it so much stronger because of the characters in this movie and I loved all these characters I thought they were all unique all quirky and all fun and the Mary character I liked how this is a character that's been done a million times where it's a character a little girl who is kind of feeling like an outcast she's feels sad about herself but then she finds a magical thing and be it's transported to a magical world so this movie in a sense can be like spirited away a little bit and Kiki's Delivery Service in a way because this character becomes a witch. Um, and I liked how it feel. it's like those movies, but it's not a complete rehash where it's like they're not trying to do the exact same movie and make success over it. They're making it, to me, really more interesting because the character Mary who finds these magical seeds from a witch's flower and uses them and becomes a witch and is transported off to this witch academy and it's really cool because she goes to this witch academy and how everything works how these wacky characters that they meet like the head mistress they're all really wacky and all interesting in their own right and i think that the designs of everything is interesting how the world works in this academy is amazing and how this mary character is there when she's not supposed to be and that's all I'm going to say with the plot where she's, she goes there, but then she's not really supposed to be. So I really, really like that, just how interesting the, this, the Mary character was and how interesting all of the other characters were. The headmistress, uh, this kid named Peter, who is a boy her age that she kind of is not liking and is mad at, and you've got her grandmother and all these other characters that to me were all fun and all interesting even though they were simple that's really 
to me, what people are going to really not like about this movie, it's, it's very simple. It is a very simple movie that does not, not dare I say challenge you, but it's not one that has giant stakes. But in terms of the likability of these characters, in terms of the designs, in terms of the animation, in terms of how it looks, and how it is so close to Studio Ghibli, but it looks so much... Like, it's such a beautiful looking movie. It's such an amazing looking one. And these, like I said, the characters are really likable. And I think that they all, without spoiling anything, have such, are just interesting characters. And I liked how whenever, whatever happens at the end happens, I like how these characters resolve it. And I like how these characters talk to each other and act towards each other. I think that they all have such a different, I different identity with all of them and I think that they're all really cool and I thought that like I said it's very simple but in terms of characters and in terms of score and in terms of the visuals um, this one I think is just a great great movie and I think that like it's not like a the best one in terms of just like a uniqueness in terms of the plot but in terms of just being a fun, whimsical, beautiful movie that has such likable characters and such little unique ideas that are brought, spreaded throughout it in terms of how the Academy works and how these characters resolve their story in a way because the trailers didn't really show the whole thing. And I'm glad that they didn't. I'm glad that this movie didn't show the whole picture. And I think that this is a... A one that you're not going to be giantly surprised at, but I think that, like I said, in terms of likable characters, in terms of the visuals, in terms of the score, I think this is a great follow-up to the Studio Ghibli Company, and I think that this one is a really, really worthy animated film that I really, really love so much.